What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with how to cut your motor shaft. So I've gotten a ton of questions on this. It is a very simple thing to do and you only need a couple of things. So we have a Exnova 4525 here that we need to cut the shaft down. Now I already marked the shaft and we have to cut about that much off. This is the same thing if you have to extend the flat spot in your shaft say the flat spot is up here and you need to move it however this is the same idea and trick now what we need is a dremel and a cutoff wheel i highly recommend this style cutoff wheel which is the easy lock i do not recommend the ones that are just a hole that you put in the cheap ones spend the money get these they make the regular metal and the thin cut and we are also going to need a ziploc baggie so hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's get started so we have our motor mounted and it's just mocked up no loctite nothing tightened down and we're going to look and we notice that our shaft is sticking out so it's not always a problem if your battery tray can clear which it can clear but in the event of a hard crash a landing that motor shaft can puncture through your battery or batteries so what we are going to do is we are going to mark our shaft, we know our pulley needs to sit there. We're gonna mark that shaft so we can cut it off. Marking it is going to be easy, just using a Sharpie. I'm going to come up from the inside and just give me a line right around that pulley. We can use alcohol when we're done and wipe off the marker so you don't see it no more. So now we're gonna pull the motor back out and we're just gonna put another mark right here on that flat spot, just like that. So now let's get the motor pulled back out and go over how we are going to cut it. We have our motor back out, our shaft is marked. So now in order to cut this and not get any metal shavings, you do not want to get metal shavings, do not grind on the shaft, cut the shaft, anything with it open. We have a little Ziploc sandwich bag. So we are going to take a knife or a pair of scissors or a knife, however you want to do it. And I'm just going to cut the tip off just like that to leave a little opening. And then we are going to insert our motor, the entire motor into our sandwich bag. So you might have to kind of give your motor wires a little bend up. We are gonna stick it through the bag and put the shaft through that little hole that we just cut. So there we go. Now we're gonna slide the bag all the way down, just like that, and then close off the sandwich bag. So completely zip lock it up. Now that that is zip locked for an added extra insurance, I'm gonna come back with a little piece of masking tape. And I like to masking tape down the actual bag opening so i just grab it twist it around the shaft here this way i know for a hundred percent that nothing is going to get into that bag and if you want it to come back with a piece of wider masking tape you can do that as well however you want to do it just to make sure that there is no possible way that anything can get in this bag into the motor. Your motor is protected, your bag is sealed off. So now we're gonna grab our cutoff wheel on the Dremel. So we have our cutoff wheel, we have our Dremel, and now we are going to cut the shaft and clean the end up. Okay, so we got our motor here all ready to cut the shaft. We have our Dremel. This is just an old Ryobi Dremel. I actually stole from my grandpa many, many years ago. He's had it forever. Our cutoff wheel, which is Dremel brand cutoff wheel. And we are going to be setting it to about speed three. So we are on a granite countertop. So that way we can cut towards it. So I'm going to line up to where my flat spot is up. I'm going to take my Dremel. And I'm going to start cutting. cut our shaft now our shaft is completely cut you can see it's a little bit crooked so what we're going to do now is grab a file and just clean up the edges so i'm just going to take this small little file you can use a bigger file however you want to do it and i'm just going to come back through here holding it down and i'm just going to clean try to flatten this out and then i'm also going to take that file and just 
clean the cut edge that we just cut. Make sure there is no burrs on it. And again, make sure we try to just smooth that cut out. A bigger file is a lot more handy for doing this. And then we're gonna take some alcohol and a paper towel, wipe everything down, including the bag. So we have our paper towel with alcohol. We're just gonna wipe that shaft down and then wipe the bag down too. That way there is no way that any shavings can get inside of there. When we pull the motor back out, we're gonna check, see that this is nice and cleaned up. Make sure we don't have to hit it anymore. That looks good, test fit your pinion. And then to get the motor out of the bag, you're just going to open your bag back up and just pull the motor right out. And there, our shaft is cut down and shortened. And then if you had to extend the flat spot, you would use the same cutoff wheel, but instead of cutting the shaft off, you would just carefully just keep marking down where you want, or you want to add a second flat spot. That is how you would do it. So now let's get this tossed back in. Now we got our motor back mounted. You can see, perfect. Our shaft is cut where we need it. We don't have to worry about it getting too low or puncturing the battery. So it's just a simple way that you guys can cut your shaft, move your flat spot in and out, however you need it. And in the future, if you ever need a longer shaft, of course the X Nova sells shafts and you can replace them. But for that build, that is what we wanted. I'm happy with that. So I hope this video has helped some of you guys. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Remember, Patreon and PayPal are linked in every video description if you'd like to help support me. Take care and have a great day.